I think a lot of the policy discussion has still, in some sense, viewed this situation and the way and the approach to stimulus through the lens of a normal recession. So there's like even even the framing of these policy interventions as stimulus, I think, is somewhat misleading or misguiding in terms of what our policy goals should be. Right now, our goal really is not to, to encourage spending. So that's kind of like the standard, a standard policy tool for fighting recessions when they come along is that we want to, you know, in various different ways go out and we want to encourage people to go out and shop and we want to increase aggregate demand. And this will provide some jolt to the economy and reduce the depth of the recession. But we do not want people to be going out and shopping right now. We want people sitting at home for public health reasons. And we want to be engaging in policies that allow, uh, allow people to do that. Uh, we do not want to be uh, encouraging shopping right now. The goal also right now is not encouraging jobs. So when you see current uh, discussion now about a new round of stimulus and talking about potentially infrastructure investment, you know, we should now interest rates are low, so it's a good time to invest in infrastructure and we should be encouraging jobs there. I think all of those things are fine once the economy is in a recovery phase and once we want to be boosting demand and be boosting jobs and output. Right now, we want people to be sitting at home. The more that we can do to get people to sit at home and reduce the spread of the virus and reduce the health consequences, that's what's gonna be best uh, for the economy. And that's what we wanna be encouraging. I think one thing that's also important to, to be thinking about um, that I don't have a great answer to in terms of the strong interactions with political incentives, especially in the current administration, um, is that there's a large swath of undocumented workers in the U.S. economy. Um, and the stimulus policies that we you know, already implemented, sending out these rebate checks, I think for obvious political reasons, uh, these undocumented workers were um, you know, not included in these, in these stimulus payments. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, however you feel about, um, you know, illegal immigration, these workers are here now as a public health matter. We do not want these people, you know, going to work and spreading this virus. And so we want, you know, this population to also be able to, to stay at home and manage and manage this shock. Um, and if we set up the system, um, you know, to manage this this economic event in such a way where we exclude, you know, some fairly sizable chunk of the population from these liquidity considerations and, you know, from thinking about these economic consequences. Um, you know, however you feel about the political and economic ramifications of that, it seems like that it will almost certainly have large public health ramifications. Um, and you know, contribute to the, the ultimate spread of the, of the virus if we can't come up with some solution there.